Hello everyone, you are watching another episode of Military Gear. Earlier this month, the US DoD released its annual China Military Power Report. The report says the Chinese Navy is now the largest in the world with 355 ships in its fleet, this includes an estimated 145 major surface combatants, submarines, aircraft carriers, ocean-going amphibious ships, mine warfare ships, and fleet auxiliaries, but doesn't include patrol combatants and craft that carry anti-ship cruise missiles. And by 2025, China is expected to field 400 ships. However impressive these numbers may sound, China's fleet still relies mainly on smaller classes of ships. China's main rival, the US Navy, still fields more tonnage, bigger and heavier armed ships like guided missile destroyers and cruisers, and aircraft carriers. Furthermore, the US aircraft carrier and the attack submarine fleet are entirely nuclear-powered, giving it significant range and endurance advantages over a Chinese fleet. Close to home, however, the numbers move in Beijing's favor. But the lack of a significant maritime force that China can use for power projection and help secure China's interest, including the protection of its vast, multi-trillion dollar road and belt initiative, far away from its home waters, is considered a significant disadvantage for the Chinese. This is Plan's nuclear-powered supercarrier, due to enter service around 2035. It would be the ultimate super carrier of China's carrier program, which started in the late 90 with the covert procurement of an unfinished Ukrainian aircraft carrier hull to be finished and refitted in China. The fleet is named after Zheng He, a 14th century Chinese fleet admiral who commanded the largest armada to have ever sailed the world until modern times. As his voyages helped to spread China's culture and influence throughout Asia, Arabia and Eastern Africa in the 14th century. This will be the flagship of a new carrier expeditionary force for the 21st century Chinese Navy. As always, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more updates, and thanks for watching.